what's up everybody? It's Stacy Storino. Welcome back to my channel, the number one place for entrepreneur moms with a digital presence. In today's video, which is part nine of my branding basic series, I'm going to explain how to deal with the brand haters that might crop up from time to time. And I'm going to tell you why having haters is actually important to your brand. Really? <laughs> so be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to get real world help that entrepreneur moms like you need to succeed when you're doing business online today. Now, if you're wondering why you need to worry about a concept like branding in the first place and how drilling down very fine grain with respect to it is actually critical to the success of your brand, especially in today's crowded online marketplace, well, you're actually in the right place. And this 12 part series is made just for you. In part eight of this series, I shared with you how a brand slogan can get you that huge happy community you need to grow in order to have a successful business in the first place. So if you missed that video, you'll want to be sure to check it out. But here in this video, we're talking about another step to proper brand building, and that's the brand hater. Now, no matter how good you are, no matter how professional and polished you are, you're gonna have nut jobs giving you a hard time, especially as a woman in business. It stinks, it's unfair, but life isn't fair. I have no idea what people use as a basis of comparison, okay? So yes, you have the right to react to a hater because you're a human being. You're entitled to your reaction. And yes, you can process the fact that you've got a hater that you have to deal with. Oh, is it a troll? Is it someone who's just a bully? Or they disagree with you and are just being stubborn about it? Is it a creepy person who's just being creepy? Well... To progress past the hater, for sure, you want to ban, block, bless, and release that troll or creep or just plain old hater. But that's not what I'm really talking about when it comes to branding per se and why having haters or at least people who disagree with your brand, its products, its services, its approach, its anything is so important. See, in terms of branding per se, haters of your brand don't get your community, what you stand for, that sort of thing. They may possibly not get you specifically as the brand leader, the entrepreneur mom who's in charge of your company. Sometimes it's personal. Sometimes the clash honestly isn't. And sometimes it's a bit of both. And that's what we call business and life overall. It happens, but it's important in a way that it happens, or you don't have much of a brand, or you need to shore up or strengthen your brand and or its branding so that you do, at least sometimes, attract haters or detractors. And here's why. You know who your target audience or niche is, I hope. And as you may know, the riches are in the niches. When your brand has haters, detractors, or people who don't really get what you're all about, it's a signal that you've actually narrowed down your niche enough. Really, remember, knowing who your haters are is a great positioning tool for your brand. In fact, you can rally your target audience or brand community around the experience that is your brand all the better when you can use an us versus them mindset. And the them, that's the haters of or detractors in connection with your brand. Definitely highlight in your branding, your live streams, your videos, and your other forms of content that not everyone is your kind or mean to be in your exclusive community of like-minded people. Don't sweep this fact under the rug. Own it. Celebrate your brand. What makes it different? The people who get that difference and those who don't or won't get it, 
It's not a shame that they don't get it, whatever it is. Why? You're not trying to sell to everybody in the first place. As they say in sales, if you try to sell to everybody, you're selling to nobody. You can't be everything to everyone. So acknowledge who you can't or won't serve without being nasty about it. And while being celebratory of those who you do serve, make it clear why the haters or detractors don't matter in a classy, tasteful way, of course. Your community is what is important. So they are where you put your energy, not on the haters. So Celebrate what makes your brand experience and the community around your brand special. And do not feed the trolls when they complain or try to tear your brand down. It's like feeding a fire fuel. It's only going to make that anger fire burn hotter. Ban, block, bless, and release, and move on. Then refocus your energy on the people you're supposed to serve, and they will love you all the more for it. They'll rally around you because you are either one of them or you're a loyal servant of them. Build up enough KLT factor or no like and trust factor like I teach you to do with other videos on my channel and they're gonna love you and rally around you, your products and or services all day long. Now, make sure you hit that notification bell because in the next part of this 12 part series, we'll discuss why you don't just want people, right, to not get your brand. <laughs> you actually need people to understand your brand with good brand storytelling that will elevate your brand. So don't miss that next video in this series. And you know what? Before I forget, I've got something that might come in handy for you, especially if you're struggling with things like coming up with a free content marketing strategy that could get you more traffic and can close more sales in, say, 30 days or less. Interested? Click the link in the show notes below or go to FunnelFairyGodmother.com. That's FunnelFairyGodmother, all one word, dot com. Why? Because I can show you how to attract customers to you and your brand like magic. See you there. Again, make sure you hit that notification bell so that you can follow along with the entire Branding Basics series that I've got to offer you. In the meantime, while you're waiting for that video, be sure to check out these two awesome videos as well. I talk a lot about social media, content marketing, entrepreneurship for moms who have to juggle home and a business, online marketing as a whole. There's so many different topics. So make sure you're checking out these two videos next. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps me a lot when you do that. As always, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.